Good morning, everyone. We are paying, we are paying twice for our energy bills uh, than we did 10 years ago, and yet our salaries have not kept up with it. On top of it, every household in Britain is, is putting about six tons of CO2 into the environment. So what is the technology and whether it is possible to put a power plant in a house, an energy efficient power plant that can generate electricity for people and save tons of CO2? For example, my friend Madeline, uh, she has to pay increasing energy bills and she feels helpless to cope with it. And the problem gets worse when her boiler fails. And she goes to buy a boiler and she has to pay 1,500 pound upfront cost plus 500 pound of installation cost. Her local heating engineer has advised her that she can go for one of these high-tech micro CHB boilers that not just provide heat for her, but also generate electricity. These are boilers like Baxi EcoGen, Ceres Power, um, WhisperGen, there are different type of technologies used. She goes to buy one of them. She finds out that they cost about 7,000 pounds altogether. And obviously she can't pay for that. I'm wondering why micro CHP says is not taking up. I see this dilemma that people want to save the environment and save on their energy bills, but this takes a huge upfront cost. And I've been thinking of what is the technology that can put this challenge and to the bed and really resolve it. So, as you know, gas turbine engine has been used in aircraft for decades. Having been working in gas turbine industry for years, I know they are very robust and reliable, and they can be manufactured at low cost with high volume. Whilst I was doing my MBA in Cranford University with my PhD, I met in exceptional individuals in, in, in the sector of low carbon technology, as well as experienced business individuals, to form an exceptional team. Dr. Ken Ramsden, who's, has had, who had headed 50 development projects in gas turbine industry who ended, that ended up in production. Uh, uh, he helped us under the advising of design options for micro gas turbine and optimization of it. The technical team was headed by Dr. Esmail Najafi, whose years of experience helped to supervise overall design and development of the components, and or an ex-KPMG auditing accountant now, I pay that with 30 years of experience helps us on the financial side. Brian Owen, who has 50 years of hands-on experience for building, manufacturing, and modifying turbine machineries, he helped us on the, on the manufacturing side. And Cranfe Manufacturing Group helped us develop a low-cost manufacturing method for the product. As well as Cranfe University, we have other partners like Owen Development based in, uh, in Oxford, also, multi-billion dollar company, uh, Honeywell, Garrett, uh, that they have expressed their interest to, to be with us on the manufacturing side. So, as a team, we developed the product, and now we have a working prototype. Now, coming back to Madeline, this is what we're going to do for her. We're going to provide her a microturbine CHP boiler with installation and maintenance completely free of charge that can generate up to 4,000 kilowatt hour of electricity for her. She signs, to an energy, she signs up to, for a contract that she delegates uh, the right to claim the feeding tariff and export tariff to the company, and company, uh, the generation of electricity from the boiler pays the price of the boiler plus the cost of maintenance and installation. Currently, there are 1.1 million boilers sold in UK uh, with a value of 1.1 billion uh, the value and 30 billion for for the rest of the world we have or or patented micro turbine chp boiler can generate about two kilowatts of electricity and 10 kilowatts of heat we have an exceptional technical financial team but we are looking for uh, individuals uh, marketing leaders to help us penetrate the market. We need 
million pound for uh, the next 18 months being to be spent on uh, the manufacturing facility and the staff and the rest of it, and we need about 4.5 million pounds for the production by end of this year. And we have a plan to exit within two to five years with three to seven fold uh, of return. Thanks very much for your attention.